Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and I'm here today to share with you the new way I found to mask my digital stamps. Now I've never been happy with any of my methods to mask these off, but I came up with a new way the other day and it's still using rubber cement, but this way is so much faster and works so much better. So what I've done is I've printed off my panel ready to go. This is what I'll be using on my card. And then I also printed it off onto regular computer paper and then trimmed it out with some very fine, sharp detail scissors. Now I'm just going to take rubber cement and I'm using the brush that it comes with and I'm just going to put a very thin layer over the back of this mass that I've trimmed out that's just computer paper. But you need a way for it to stick to your paper but still need it to come up when you're done using it. So instead of sending a whole sheet of masking paper and wasting it through my printer, I just use regular computer paper, print it off, and I'm putting this rubber cement on the back, and then I'll stick this down onto the paper and cover the area I want masked off, and then I'll just let this dry. It doesn't take long at all. It literally took maybe a minute, and then I was able to move on. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this panel, it still has the mask on it, and I'm going to attach it to a stencil that I have here. And this is a Heidi Swap stencil, and I'm just going to tape this onto the back. And that is because I don't want my tape marks to show up whenever I go to use the stencil. So just by taping it on the back, it saves you a lot of hassle with your tape. And it also keeps your stencil from moving around on the paper. So it just saves you a lot of time and hassle doing it this way. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some black soot distress ink and a mini ink blending tool. And I'm just going to very lightly go over the stencil and just get this pattern on the paper. I don't want it completely all the way across the paper. I want it to fade off. So I'm just going to very lightly apply this and kind of build up the color a little bit. The one thing I do try to tell myself when I go in with ink blending is you can't take this ink away. You can build it up and build it up, but you really can't take it away once it's on the paper. There you could see my husband's hand. He didn't realize I was recording, so sorry about that. But I'll just keep using my mini ink blending tool to build this color up. Also keeping it soft really helps blend out those edges into the white and it will also keep you from getting any harsh lines with your blending tool. Now with the mini one, you don't get as many as you would with the larger one, but you can still get some harsh lines with this tool. Once I was happy with the color on my paper, I went ahead and removed the stencil, and then I can peel up this mask. Now the great thing about rubber cement is it's not a permanent ink, so I can just peel up that mask, and again, I could use that mask again if I wanted to, and then just using my finger, I can rub away any little leftover pieces or residue from the rubber cement. Just rubs away with my finger, and there I've got a nice image ready to be colored. Now this digital stamp is brand new from Digi Stamps for Joy, and it is called Little Black Dress. However, I wanted to give her a little red dress. So I'm using my Dick Blick Studio brush markers, which are just alcohol-based markers. And I'm going to color in her dress red, and I'm coming in with a darker red to add some shading. I'm doing her skin tones. I added a little bit, little bit of blush to her cheeks with some pinks, and I put some red lipstick on her and colored her hair with a few yellows for a blonde hair. Now, one thing I am not great with shadowing or shading or any of that yet with these markers I'm still learning so you'll have to give me a little bit of leeway with this but there you can see the finished image that is colored and ready to go on a card base I went ahead and matted her on a piece of black cardstock and one thing I do want to mention whenever this card was said and done I did come back in with Wink Estella I did this off camera and I put quite a few layers of that over her dress and nothing else and that just adds kind of a shimmery effect to it so it looks like a sparkly red dress. It's really pretty and I was able to pick it up in one of my pictures which you'll be able to see at the end of this video. Now I forgot to add my sentiment so before I popped anything up I thought I better go ahead and do that. I used the Avery L Peony stamp set and I mounted Thanks Gorgeous onto an acrylic block and then I'm just using some black dye ink to stamp that in the bottom right hand corner next to her legs. Now I could go ahead and start assembling the rest of the card. 
I had an A2 red card base that is a top folding card base and I went ahead and took a piece of gold glitter cardstock and I just kind of cocked it to the side I guess you could say made it a little bit crooked and I stuck that down on the card base and then using some very long sharp scissors I'm just gonna cut off those corners so it's all nice and flush and nothing hangs over the side and there I've got a nice mat ready to go but it's just a little bit something different not straight on my card base and then I can go ahead and I've added some fun foam to the back of this black card stock with my image on it and I'll just peel off the backing on that double sided adhesive and then I can place that right down onto the card base there you do want to use a little bit more adhesive with this glitter card stock and press a little bit harder just to make sure you get a nice adhesion because it is a little bit finicky to work with once I was done with that I decided to add just three little sequins these are from Simon Says Stamp and I am just using glossy accents and my quick sticks tool to put those down in a little bit of a triangle and that finished off the card I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you I gave you a new idea on how to mask off your digital stamps as always I will leave you guys with a close-up of this card and just a few pictures For more information and the supply list, you can head to my blog, craftingwallcaffeinated.wordpress.com. The link is in the description box below, as well as that I in the top right hand corner. That will get you there too. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy crafting.